Well, I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, <clears throat> Halloween Kills, the previous film that uh, came out with this franchise. Um, um, basically my initial thoughts because I don't know, I did that with the previous Halloween film, and um, yeah, I saw with the alternate ending version of this and also like the, like the extended or the theatrical cut um obviously more uh, kills and stuff um and um <clears throat> with the alternate ending it just is kind of like a just kind of goes on a little more and uh yeah Overall, this is, eh, it's not, uh, incredible, um, um, it's not horrible, um, there are some characters who, um, <clears throat> we see come back, uh, it's just like the original film, you know, like Tommy Doyle and Lindsay, um, Anthony Michael Hall, uh, plays, uh, Tommy in this film, and, uh, you know, Michael's going around, because it takes place right after the last film, so, he gets out of the basement of, uh, you know, Lori's house, that's it's on fire, and, um, you know, throughout the film, you know, Lori is in the hospital, so she doesn't really have a whole lot to do. Uh, within this film, and um, we see uh, Hawkins from the original film and the blast film. Uh, um, we see a flashback um, of uh, some various flashbacks where uh, of, uh, at the end of um, the original film. Where Michael is still walking and heading towards his old home, and um, yeah, he uh, uh, goes back to his sister's room because apparently um, that was a thing where you go to the sister's room and just look out the window and just look at the town. So Hawkins's partner goes in and. So, because they both are looking for him, so they go upstairs and goes to Michael's sister's room, and then Michael comes out of the closet, and starts choking him, and then uh, Hawkins comes in. He has his gun drawn, and he's aiming at him, but uh, there's a problem because you know Michael has his partner in front of him, so he can't get a very good shot. But you know, it's like he's got to try to at least do something, and, um, I guess, like, there's a, I guess there was, like, a brief moment where he could shoot him, so he shoots, but then he hits his partner in the neck, and his partner dies, and, um, uh, and then later on, it was revealed that, you know, Hawkins could have ended that whole thing, because Dr. Loomis, you know, he came in and asked if there's anyone else, like, dead, did he kill more? And then he's about to, you know, they get him and surrounded by the police outside of the home. And then, you know, uh, Lewis is going to kill him. But then Hawkins just, like, moves his hand away. So he shoots up in the air. And, and now he's, uh, all these years later, he's wishing that, you know, he didn't do that. Like, you know, he, like, wished that, you know, he let Loomis kill him because, you know, he is pure evil. And, um, you know, uh, there, yeah, yeah, it's also uh, spoiler, I guess, for the previous film, but, you know, because in the last film, you know, Hawkins got his throat cut 
by uh, Michael's doctor at that point, uh, or at least what we saw in the previous film, then ran over and then brought Michael to uh, Lori's home. And then uh, Allison's boyfriend, um, uh, you know, Lori's granddaughter, yeah, he finds him on the ground bleeding and then he uh, calls the uh, police and ambulance to come and get him uh, Hawkins and yeah and we also see uh, Lonnie um, and there in the original Halloween there was a kid like Lonnie like yeah, Lonnie you know, just, you know, get out of here you little or something like that like that Luma says to frighten kids away from a home like Michael's home or, or and uh, so you know we see a kid named Lonnie who you know is bullied by kids in 1978 and then he's home, he's walking alone and he's running and frightened and then you know runs into Michael uh, just before uh, Michael goes into the, his own home, which of course is where the whole thing with Hawkins and his partner go in, and then his partner is killed and all that. Anyway, you know, then we see you know uh, Karen is wants to protect her mom, you know, Judy Greer. Uh, she she wants to protect Lori keep her safe at the hospital though of course Lori wants to kill him and there's like an escaped uh, 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 piece of, like, a mental facility on the bus you know because like Michael Myers was going to be transferred elsewhere and so that bus crashed in the last film he and uh, so many others uh we're wandering around. He's one. He, you know, out on the loose, and he's getting. He's trying to, like, kind of get help and everything, but because uh, previously, you know, the, you know, the people, you know, the, on the news, you know, we see in a bar um, has pictures of, you know, the uh, uh, original. Some of the original victims in the, from the first film. One of which is a picture of uh, Bob Odenkirk. Uh, for a substitute for the guy who played Bob in the original film. And, um, yeah, but Bob, the actor who played Bob originally, they couldn't get, like, the rights to his uh, likeness or whatever. And so they, like, Googled Bob 1970s high school found Bob Odenkirk's picture, and so Bob Odenkirk is in a film uh, of Halloween without having to ever, you know, do anything, film nothing, just use an old picture, and he's even credited in the, in the at the end of the, in the credits, which is pretty cool, but, you know, um, but, you know, he, um, yeah, so this guy who the way it's framed, you know, they're talking about uh, bus crashed and mental patient and such. Uh, it, it makes it sound like this guy is Michael. Well, it is Michael Myers. We all know it. Also, he's like, he's quite short. Michael Myers is over six foot for sure. Like six foot plus. Um, this guy is like five foot whatever. Um, and it's just weird that people think that's Michael Myers, but yeah. Anyway, uh, there, there are some good kills in this film. Um, it's just, the thing is, like, everybody kind of just does stupid stuff that ultimately, um, you know, either gets themselves killed or others killed. You know, if they live, you know, it's like they like, made a decision probably shouldn't have but you know maybe in the moment it seemed like a good idea but you know it's one of those things it seemed like a good idea at the time well it really wasn't but there you go uh 
and uh, yeah, the film itself is okay, I guess. Um, again, I don't want to go too in depth with it, you know. Um, it's fine. It's whatever, um, you know. This next film which comes up this day, today. Um, I don't know if I'll see it today, but you never know. Uh, uh, it's just it's just interesting and odd, but there's, there's just things with this film. I don't know why I said odd, but it's just interesting how the previous film was fairly good. I know there are people who don't like it, and that's fine. I can see why people don't like that movie, but it was competently made. It was fine. Um, this one is kind of, I don't know, good kills. And some of the flashbacks were kind of interesting. It was cool to see Sam Loomis uh, again. Mm. Excuse me. Um, you know, somebody voiced, you know, Dr. Loomis did a Donald Pleasant's impress, uh, impersonation for the voice, but the person that they got to play, <clears throat> you know, Don, uh, uh, Dr. Loomis in the flashback looked quite a bit like, um, you know, Donald Pleasant's. Uh, could be a combination of him naturally looking that way, as well as makeup and stuff. Or it could have been all makeup, and whatever the case is, if it's a mixture of an actor naturally looking similar to um, Donald Pleasance, and then they just applied some makeup, or maybe like a skull cap or whatever to make him bald, or he was already, you know, just just had a, he was very good at acting, and they were able to just put enough makeup and stuff on him to make him look like him. You know, whatever the case may be, you know, it was it was good. You, know, it, you did a good job. Um, <clears throat> I do like the overall the uh, yeah the kills. I do like overall the you know Michael just being very brutal. That's nice. Um, you know, Nick Castle returned to play uh, Michael at various points. You know, um, they have Michael keep uh, getting his mask taken off at various points. I know there are people who don't like that. Um, and I can see why it can kind of get annoying just to have this happen off and on. But yeah, I mean, again, I just watched this not that long ago. Like, probably like a week or so ago, the time of this will be on, uh, or will be published. But, yeah, I, I thought this film had some good stuff and some eh, negative stuff. Yeah, I am curious to see what the next film will be. You know, it's the end of this sort of series of Halloween films until whenever the next one will be. Um, yeah, I don't know. Who knows what will happen? I don't. Um, but uh, at least not until I see it. And I don't know if I'll see it in the theater or not, but if I do, I'll probably give another initial reaction. Because I didn't see this film when it came out uh, last year. Uh, not that I... Uh, didn't have an opportunity I just you know there's just a lot of stuff going on and you know had to pick whether to see this or not I would have gone to see it with my brother but he uh you know he was working a lot and didn't really have much or too many days off the days he did have off were like you know, he was either gonna relax or <clears throat> you know had to do something else and so you know, in lieu of actually, you know, you know, in lieu of actually, you know, going to his job and working, you know, there's might be uh, some other things he had to do, like, uh, yeah, uh, eat groceries or, 
maybe get something to fix something or whatever the case may have been but yeah I don't know this is a this was a fine movie um, uh, at various points and other points it was kind of yeah I don't know it's just like the whole way well, yeah, the town acts and wants to you know kill Michael Myers you know in that sense it's understandable but you know there's law enforcement that they should do their job but I don't know it's like it's just yeah it's a mixed bag for me uh, some good stuff and bad stuff I do remember hearing how there's a gay couple in this film and that you know Michael you know kills them and he's homophobic. Well, no, that's not the case at all. First off, Michael will just kill it. Michael Myers will just kill anyone just because you're there, and he just doesn't care. He does not care about your race or sexuality or whatever. If you're there, you're dead. Like if you're there in his vicinity, you're dead. And especially since you know his old home is now. <clears throat> Uh, the home of, of this couple and so you know that was part of the thing he goes home you know you know that was the uh, tagline in the original film was the night he came home so yeah it's just you know he's going home and um, there's people living in his home so he's gonna go and you know kill whoever's there and then just like you know look out the window um, but yeah uh, you know, those are my overall initial thoughts you know maybe one day when I have the whole franchise from the original to Halloween ends and everything and just go through all the films I might do that <clears throat> and talk about this a little more um, if I have more to say um but yeah, I think overall this is a good place for me to stop. Um, so otherwise I'll just be repeating myself. Um, yeah, I hope uh, all of you are doing well. Hope your week has been good. Hope you'll have a good weekend. And um, if you see the new movie, you know, let me know if you think it's worth watching. You know, did you enjoy this movie? Uh, did you dislike it? Or you see, you're like me. You have mixed feelings. There's certain things that are good. Certain kills were good. Then certain things were kind of stupid and dumb. Like, uh, characters just did dumb things, which led them to be killed. Which I know in horror films like this, you know, spe specifically slashers, that does happen. But usually there's a at least a decent number of competent people, like a couple. And there didn't seem to be a whole lot uh, when it came to how many there are there's like one I think but uh, I guess that could even be debatable uh, just because of how everything is handled like could have been handled better but they just didn't handle things properly you know anyway uh, I hope uh this video was interesting, and I hope uh, all of you are again doing well. I'll see you all next time.